Right now at 6, breaking news in Hampton. The search for a missing two-year-old is going on. It's been happening since just before noon. Chopper 10 was up this afternoon as crews continue the search for little Noah Tomlin. A lot of concern in the Buckrow Beach area right now. And then your size, Gina Arevalo, is on the ground there. Yeah, and Gina, what can you tell us? Hey guys, yeah, well right now we are at the intersection of South First Street and Atlantic Avenue and right over my shoulder you can see we are at the entrance of Bayside Mobile Home Village. This area has been taped off as part of that investigation and search for that missing two-year-old. Some neighbors who live nearby say this is where the two-year-old lives, somewhere down on this street. We've seen some K-9 units coming and going and other police vehicles entering this street. As you mentioned, Hampton Police say Noah Tomlin was last seen in his home in the 100 block of Atlantic Avenue around 1 a.m. this morning. Police were notified of his disappearance just after 1130 this morning. What happened in between those times and when the child was first uh, noticed missing is not clear at the moment, but we are told that Noah was reportedly wearing a white and green pajama shirt and diaper. We have been speaking with some neighbors around the area. There are people who live out here and say they've been walking around all afternoon for any sign of the boy. Everybody in the neighborhood's out. We're looking around for him. He got his place covered. We're all everywhere. Feel sorry for the kids you know, and the parents, but you know, and the community is good. Everybody out here trying, trying to help. But they just hope to find them. And the police mobile command center is just down the street. There is a big presence of law enforcement, first responders. We've seen police on um, ATVs and four wheelers. There's also some drones flying around, and we uh, police did say that they have called in extra resources. We're told the Virginia Department of Emergency Management Services team has been called out and the FBI has also been notified. We are supposed to get an update from police around 7 o'clock tonight and if not sooner, but be sure to stay with Wavy News for the latest update on this developing situation. For now, reporting live in Hampton, Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.